Tyson Fury's Night of Chaos. Drunk, disorderly, and kicking a taxi. What really happened during Tyson Fury's wild night out? Why did the heavyweight champ end up kicking a taxi after being refused a ride? Dive into the shocking details of Fury's latest incident that has fans and critics buzzing. Is this a sign of deeper troubles for the Gypsy King or just a momentary lapse? Discover the full story behind the viral video and what it means for Fury's future. Tyson Fury, the self-proclaimed Gypsy King, has once again found himself in the spotlight, but not for his exploits in the boxing ring. Recently, a video surfaced showing Fury appearing heavily intoxicated in a club and later kicking a taxi after being refused a ride. This incident, occurring while Fury was on holiday in Cannes, has raised eyebrows and concerns among fans and those close to him. In the video, Fury is seen in a visibly inebriated state, struggling to maintain his balance and being supported by his father, John Fury. The footage captures the heavyweight champion as he approaches a taxi, seemingly trying to get a ride. Despite the efforts of his friends to negotiate with the driver, Fury is denied entry into the vehicle. Frustrated, he kicks the taxi as it drives away, a moment that has since gone viral on social media. This isn't the first time Fury's behavior outside the ring has made headlines. Known for his larger-than-life personality, Fury has had his fair share of controversial moments. However, this recent incident has sparked fresh concerns about his well-being, particularly given his history with mental health issues and substance abuse. Following the release of the video, sources close to Fury have expressed their worries. His inner circle has reportedly been concerned about his recent behavior, especially in the aftermath of his loss to Oleksandr Usyk. There are fears that the pressures of his boxing career combined with his struggles with mental health may be taking a toll on him. Fury's erratic behavior is not new. Over the years, he has been open about his battles with depression and addiction. In 2016, he vacated his heavyweight titles and took a hiatus from boxing to focus on his mental health. His triumphant return to the sport in 2018, culminating in reclaiming the WBC heavyweight title, was widely celebrated. However, his recent actions have led many to question whether he is once again struggling. The reaction from the public and media has been mixed. Some fans have expressed sympathy, understanding the immense pressures that come with being a world champion. Others have criticized Fury, suggesting that his behavior is unbecoming of a professional athlete and a role model. The media has also been quick to pick up on the story, with headlines focusing on Fury's drunken antics and the potential implications for his career. This scrutiny is something Fury is no stranger to, having dealt with the highs and lows of fame throughout his career. A fan making fun of Tyson's speech after his loss to Alexander Usyk. Come on guys, don't be harsh on Tyson Fury. He's just celebrating New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. Blame John Fury, it's the reason he lost he needed Paris by his side. Another fan blames John Fury for his loss. A lot of people had said John was in Tyson's ear too much, too many people speaking at once, leading Fury to have different opinions in his head and not know exactly what to do, whether to push the pace in the latter rounds with Usyk because he was losing or listening to his corner. People like John, his dad, who believed he was miles up in the fight. Peter Fury, a relation with Tyson, also agreed. I think the game plans was wrong and all of the situation and too many people in the corner. Whichever one of them, three or four, one of them should have been doing the speaking, whichever one it was, not not three or four, because how can you listen to all that? It's going a little bit panicking, it's all over the place. Too many people. Tyson Fury's journey has been one of dramatic highs and lows. His rise to the top of the boxing world, defeating Vladimir Klitschko in 2015 to become the unified heavyweight champion, was followed by a rapid fall from grace. Struggles with mental health and substance abuse led to a lengthy absence from the sport. His comeback story is equally remarkable. Shedding over 100 pounds and reclaiming his mental health, Fury returned to the ring in 2018. His subsequent fights against Deontay Wilder cemented his status as one of the greatest heavyweights of his generation. 
The trilogy with Wilder showcased not only his boxing prowess, but also his resilience and determination. Within this fight, Tyson did actually say he used to drink beers to warm up for the fight and get him ready. He said it wasn't a concern for him and it got him in the mood, got him in the fighting spirit and was better than all these energy drinks advertised on the telly. I drink beer while I'm at a training camp. I had uh, four pints of beer before the Wilder fight the night before. Didn't do me any harm, did it? Better am I lying or not? No. That was, I'm a man 30 year old, who's been a professional for 11 years, I'm married with five children. If I want some fucking beers, I have some. A source close to Fury said he hasn't had a drink for over a year. He had a couple too many and wasn't feeling too well either. More people are concerned for Tyson rather than anything else. It seemed like the UK betrayed him for his fight against Usyk, where most fans wanted him to lose. But after seeing this video, fans are worried for his health and now seem to have switched up again. I hope he doesn't spiral into a bad place. This video is very concerning. Love him or hate him. Tyson Fury changed the sport of boxing when heavyweight boxing became irrelevant. Hearing his story will change anyone's opinion on him. I genuinely hope he is okay and has his family close and his mind right. Prayers to him. This is really sad. Before the inevitable pile-on, consider that we know Tyson Fury faces many demons. Unfortunately, unlike most of us, he faces them publicly for the world to see. Like before, I hope he gets the help and support he needs and deserves. Oh my God. Oh my God. The life of a champion boxer is fraught with pressure. Constant media attention, the demands of training, and the expectations of fans can be overwhelming. For Fury, these pressures are compounded by his personal struggles. His openness about his mental health has been both a source of inspiration and a double-edged sword, inviting scrutiny into every aspect of his life. In interviews, Fury has often spoken about the loneliness and isolation that can come with fame. Despite having a supportive family and team, the burden of being in the public eye can be immense. Incidents like the recent one in Cannes highlight the challenges he faces in balancing his public persona with his private battles. You know, there's so, been so many things happen to me throughout my life and if there was no higher power then it wouldn't be possible for me to be here. I was down with depression and anxiety. I put on 147 pounds. I was drinking on a daily basis. I was gone. Mm. I was finished. The only place I ever thought that I'd ever end up was in a padded room somewhere. Um, mm. it, it was terrible. I was thinking about suicide every day and I had nothing to be upset about. I, I was heavyweight champion of the world. I was 27 years old. I had money, fame, glory, a family, achievements, kids, everything running so smooth, but it didn't matter because Mental health will bring you to your knees if you let it. The recent video, there are calls for Fury to take a step back and focus on his well being. Fans and analysts alike hope that he will seek the help he needs to address any underlying issues. His story has been one of redemption before, and many believe he has the strength to overcome these latest challenges. For now, Fury's camp has remained relatively silent on the incident, with no official statements addressing the video. However, given the public nature of the incident, it is likely that Fury will need to confront the issue head-on in the coming days. We all know Tyson vs Usyk has been confirmed for mid-December, and it could be likely that Tyson has just been enjoying himself as of late. There's no need for a Cray training camp right now, as the fight is still a long way away. Tyson Fury's recent drunken episode, however, the subsequent video has once again thrust him into the limelight for all the wrong reasons. While his achievements in the boxing ring are undeniable, his personal struggles continue to be a significant part of his story. As fans and observers, it is crucial to approach such incidents with empathy and understanding, recognizing the immense pressures that come with being a world champion. Fury's journey has been one of triumph and tribulation, and with the right support, he can navigate these challenges and continue to inspire both in and out of the ring. Tyson Fury's latest antics have set the internet ablaze. This shocking footage has fans buzzing and concerned about the heavyweight champ's well-being. Stay tuned for all the details and insider updates on this developing story. If you enjoyed this update, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting news on your favorite boxing stars.